A passive house is a building that has such little heat demand that in most cases a central heating system is not needed. Often a decentralised system such as a low output boiler or a heat source in the supply of ventilation is enough to heat the dwelling. Controlled ventilation is an important part of providing superior indoor air quality in a passive house. Stephen Huber from Sustainable Home Scotland is here to discuss with us the concept of mechanical ventilation with heat recovery. Thank you. MVHR systems or controlled ventilation provide indoor air quality for relatively airtight buildings without the heat losses that are associated with any other form of ventilation. It's a whole house ventilation concept based on extract from kitchens and bedrooms with a balanced supply in living spaces and bedrooms. Let's look at the heart of the MVHR system. This is the heart of the MVHR system, one of the Passive House certified heat recovery units, which have a heat exchanger of a basically 3D grid of counterflow tubes, which transfer the heat from the extract air into the supply air. This goes up to 95% efficient, and depending on the design and make of the MVHR, there is hardly any noise noticeable in the house. So there are various advantages associated with an MVHR system. One of it is active dehumidification in the cold season, obviously noise reduction, and as well you save energy. Up to 30% of your heating energy can be saved through airtight building and MVHR systems. Um, you've got reduction of buildup of pollutants, as well as a very good indoor air quality, which is constant. So that's basically the central unit. So, heat recovery ventilation is a time-proven technology that's been widely used in Canada, Scandinavia and many other European countries. That's fantastic, Stephen, thank you. So, that really helps to explain mechanical ventilation with heat recovery systems in more detail. If you'd like to know more about MVHR systems, please give us a call, visit the website, or, or alternatively, we run courses and seminars. If you'd like to know when the next course is running, please visit the website.